Donald Trump just issued a brand new threat surrounding the 2024 presidential election, and it's a serious one. It indicates that he's laying the groundwork for his next insurrection attempt. So we, the people, have to be knowledgeable about Donald Trump's plans and do everything we can to fight against it. So I'm going to show you this threat. We'll talk about it a little bit, but before I do so, make sure to subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps. goes a long way. But let's just dive right in. So this on your screen is the new threat that Donald Trump issued earlier tonight. It came from the official Donald J. Trump Truth Social account. And this statement is quite lengthy for Donald Trump. Normally he speaks and types in unfinished sentences that are a bunch of nonsense, but I digress. In this statement, Donald Trump writes, Cease and desist. I, together with many attorneys and legal scholars, am watching the sanctity of the 2024 presidential election very closely because I know, better than most, the rampant cheating and skullduggery that has taken place by Democrats in the 2020 election. It was a disgrace to our nation. Therefore, the 2024 election, and this is where it gets important, where votes have just started being cast will be under the closest professional scrutiny. And when I win, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which will include long-term prison sentences so that this depravity of justice does not happen again. We cannot let our country further devolve into a third world nation, and we won't. Please be aware that this legal exposure extends to lawyers, political operatives, donors, illegal voters, and corrupt election officials. Those involved in unscrupulous behavior will be sought out, caught, and prosecuted at levels, unfortunately, never seen before in our country. Now, let me just translate this a little bit for us here. Donald Trump knows that the 2020 election was not stolen. It was fair, secure, safe, and Joe Biden won the election and beat Donald Trump like a drum. But that fact has upset Donald Trump. So now... His plan, which we've kind of known for some time, but now he's pretty much confirming this plan, is to use the lie of the 2020 election as a cover to go after his political opponents. He's operating under the guise of this lie to target people who do not agree with him. That can include anybody. That can include lawyers who fought against him in court to uphold the results of a free and fair election. It can include election officials like governors and secretaries of state who denied Donald Trump's conspiracy theories and operated in good faith to uphold the results of a free and fair election. Or that can include literally anybody who disagrees with Donald Trump and maybe even average everyday voters like me and you. Because what Donald Trump wants to do is win get into the Oval Office, then fill the Department of Justice with crazies like him. So when he directs them to prosecute people that don't like him and are not on his side, they'll do it. They will do it. And they will say, oh, this person, X, Y, and Z, cheated. They argued in court falsely on the, on the merits of this election. So we have to go after them. That's what Donald Trump is saying here. He's not saying that he's going to go after actual criminals, you know, like himself and his MAGA buddies who tried to overturn a free and fair election. He's saying that he's going to go after innocent people under the guise of the uh, big lie that Donald Trump and his allies push. And the RNC and the Republican Party as a whole have been laying this groundwork for quite some time now. I mean, we have articles like this one on your screen, that the RNC hired lawyers focused on election-related concerns. The Republican National Committee's edition of lawyers Charles Spies and Christina Bob comes after mass layoffs and a Trump campaign takeover at the organization. This is after the RNC was taken over, essentially, by the Trump family. And this is significant for a couple of reasons, because Christina Bob is joining the RNC and is working at the RNC right now on election-related concerns. The article says, Christina Bob, who has served on the Trump campaign's legal team and is a prominent figure in pushing the GOP's unfounded claims of a stolen 2020 election, will serve as senior counsel for election integrity. Bob confirmed she joined the RNC in a post on X or Twitter. Now, reminder, Christina Bob has been indicted for these efforts indicted for trying to overturn the 2020 election, and she's serving as senior counsel for election integrity in the RNC. Does that sound like a party who's planning on respecting the results of a free and fair election? Or does that sound like a party who's planning to try to challenge those results again? And this is not the only thing that Donald Trump, the Republican Party, have done. Just look at this. 
The RNC is, quote, laser focused on vote monitoring and is committed to enlisting 100,000 poll watchers. The RNC says it is promised Trump it will enlist at least, at least at a minimum, 100,000 people to serve as poll watchers, poll workers, and poll judges, and have kicked off what they are calling the Protect Your Vote Tour, holding in-person and virtual training sessions in battleground states such as Michigan, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. These are three states that Donald Trump and his buddies tried to overturn in 2020, and they're doing it again. They're trying to get poll watchers who will side with them, poll watchers who will try to throw out votes who are not for Donald Trump, votes that go against him and his campaign in all these key swing states where it can come down to the wire. A couple of votes in each district in one of these states could flip an election one way or another. And Donald Trump's RNC team is trying to make sure that they can throw out votes that are free and fair. And just as a reminder, you know, we have this kind of very clear statement from Donald Trump, but this isn't the first time. He has suggested political enemies could face uh, prosecution by him, calling it very possible, very possible. And, and, you know, in a statement, in a statement, he said, does that mean the next president does it to them? That's really the question in terms of indicting a political opponent. That's what Donald Trump wants to do. And that's what he's saying in that statement. So listen, here's the thing. We, the people, as I mentioned, have to be aware of this. We have to be aware of this statement. So share this statement with your friends, family, and loved ones. Let them know, maybe even people who are on the fence, what Donald Trump wants to do. It's un-American. And at the end of the day, maybe you're watching and maybe you don't fully agree with me, right? Maybe we're on different sides of the aisle. Maybe you're more conservative. Maybe you're more independent, whatever it might be. And, or maybe you're watching and you fully agree with me and you have friends, family, loved ones who are kind of independent or maybe they're more traditionally conservative and they're kind of on the fence. Show them this statement. Show them the statement of the nominee of the Republican Party where he is promising, promising to go after political opponents under the guise of a lie. Political operatives, lawyers, donors, all these people are on Donald Trump's hit list for him to go after and prosecute based on nothing. They didn't do anything wrong. Their only crime was advocating against him. And in his mind, that is the worst crime of all. So we, this this is deadly serious. This is deadly serious. Trump cannot win. And if he does win, the DOJ will be used against average everyday Americans who don't agree with him. That's dangerous. We don't see that here in the United States. We don't do that in the United States. That happens in countries around the world like Russia. We're not Russia. We're better than Putin. And we're better than Donald Trump. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this statement. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's lunacy. Uh, but you and I, everybody, we have to know about it. We have to be aware. So uh, look, I'll wrap up the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great night. I'm sorry to kind of like throw out some bad news, uh, but it's important news. Um, I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below. It goes an incredibly long way. It supports me in trying to bring this stuff to you guys. Also drop a like on the video, which is also important and comment. Let me know what you think about all this, what your view is on this. Um, And let me know if you've been able to convince anybody to vote for Kamala Harris over Donald Trump. I'd love to hear those stories. So anyway, listen, I'll leave it there. Thank you guys. I hope you're having a great rest of your night and we will speak soon.